Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure you guys were aware, just over a week ago, Rockstar Games released a brand new Criminal Enterprises DLC, which not only included a bunch of new content from cars, weapons, and a new car dealership, but they also went ahead and made a bunch of changes to current businesses that we have in the game. And I have noticed, I have been getting quite a few comments from you guys asking me, can I put together an ultimate guide fully breaking down all of these changes to the current businesses just so you guys are fully clued up on exactly what changes have been made and exactly how much money you guys can earn after this latest update so if you guys do appreciate me putting this video together because it has taken me quite a while to put this video together all i ask is you guys do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so in this video we're going to be covering all of the brand new changes to do with the nightclub business as i'm sure a lot of you guys might be aware when rockstar games originally released the after hours dlc i did put together an ultimate nightclub money making guide way back when so a lot of stuff of course that hasn't been changed is still true in that video so if you guys do want a more in-depth look of every single thing to do with the nightclub from all of the side missions then i will leave a link to that video down low in the description where you guys can get a full breakdown as far as doing the setup missions and whatnot now it is worth mentioning that previous to this update in order for you guys to buy a nightclub and make some serious money from it you would have had to have owned another business outside the nightclub whether that be a bunker an mc business or a crate warehouse and of course the reason that was is because you guys had to have that other business in order to source goods for your nightclub warehouse in order to go ahead and make the most amount of money however that is no longer the case after this latest update and i will be speaking more about that later on in the video now of course if you guys are brand new to this business and you don't already own a nightclub then you will have to go ahead and purchase one now nightclubs will vary the most expensive one being 1.7 million and the cheapest one being just over 1 million now the locations as you guys can see of these nightclubs are all in los santos i would suggest getting one as close to the central point as you guys can as like you guys are probably aware the majority of these missions do take place in and around this area i would avoid the one down near elysian island as well as the nightclub over by the airport just because this is going to require you guys to do a bit more extra driving when you guys are doing these smaller resupply missions now like i said i've already got a video up fully breaking down the costs of actually setting up a nightclub because there is a bunch of additional features you guys can get like light rigs adding a nightclub name adding storage adding dancers or even adding dry ice so like i said if you guys do want a full breakdown on the costs of running the business nothing has changed as far as that so i will leave a link to that video down low in the description but like i said once you guys go ahead and purchase your nightclub you will notice now there is two ways of making monies from the nightclub one being from the popularity of your nightclub and the second being from your nightclub warehouse which will be producing goods now it is worth mentioning the popularity of your nightclub can be increased by doing several different things now the very first thing worth mentioning is rockstar games have added two brand new nightclub management missions if you guys aren't aware once you guys make your way into the office of the nightclub make your way onto the computer you'll notice now you have all of these options so you've got nightclub management where you can select to promote your nightclub you've also got a residential dj of course where you can change your dj you've got the warehouse management section where you guys can decide what technicians source what goods i will speak more about that in just a second in case you guys are completely new to nightclubs you've also got a section where you can go ahead and sell your goods and then finally you've got all of the upgrades so like i was saying the very first thing that has been added brand new of course is two brand new nightclub promotion missions and in order to trigger these all you guys simply have to do like i said is go into your computer and select promote club now both of these missions are incredibly easy and i'm going to show you guys exactly what they are so the very first brand new nightclub management mission is called recover the incriminating photos and all it is is basically as it says you guys simply have to head over to mirror park 
you make your way inside of this apartment once you guys are inside of the apartment simply make your way up to the laptop all you have to do is upload a virus to the laptop it will take about one minute or so and once you guys have done that simply go ahead and leave the apartment and head over to the new location where a deal will be going down so once you guys arrive at the location just simply go ahead spray everyone up as you guys can see on screen I'm not even using an armored vehicle for this bit. I'm just using a bug standard Hakuchu drag motorbike. It's very, very easy and very straightforward this mission. I guarantee none of you guys will fail doing these brand new missions. However, as you guys can see on screen, once I've killed the guy, simply go over, recover the camera, and then head back to your nightclub. And as easy as that, you guys have now been able to complete the first brand new nightclub mission. And like I said, by doing so, that is going to increase your nightclub popularity which in turn is going to make you guys more money to go ahead and collect in your safe which i will break down in just a second exactly how much money you guys earn from the popularity gained in your nightclub the other brand new nightclub management mission is one where you guys will basically have to go ahead and eliminate a drug operation so as you guys can see on screen as soon as you launch this mission you will get greeted with three different locations or three different dealers that you have to go ahead and take out once again if you guys have never played one of these nightclub management missions these are done 100 in a public free roam lobby or an invite only lobby but the point is you're allowed to use whatever vehicles you want so as you guys can see on screen i'm using the oppressor mark ii you can use any car you want but it just makes this a walk in the park considering we can use weaponized vehicles to do these so as you guys can see on screen as much as rockstar wants to act like they've nerfed the oppressor mark ii it's still extremely overpowered in my opinion especially for ais or npcs as you guys can see on screen this guy is trying to run away here and swiftly auto missile lock on took him out within seconds now the second dealer should be over here leading up towards the vinewood mansions or the hilltop mansions as you guys can see he should be here parked up at the side even though you can't lock on with the oppressor mk2 as you guys can see all you have to do is just dip it down slightly and then one shot and it'll take out the load of them but the third and final location of these dealers will be over here by this little motel area so simply just head over to the roof if i was you guys and shoot a rocket down on them should be very very easy once again to go ahead and complete but once you guys have taken out all three of the dealers it's going to tell you guys to head over to burton and search for the cocaine lockup here is the area that you guys want to go to save you guys some time literally just right opposite ls custom so very very easy to find once you guys make your way to this location once again you will have to make your way inside a building be a few enemies hanging around so be prepared straight away to grab your gun out take them all out eat some snacks if you have to to replenish your life however once you guys have taken out all of the enemies simply just head over to this area plant the explosives leave the building and then simply pull up your phone and detonate the bomb so as easy as that like i said they are the two brand new nightclub management missions very very easy and straightforward once again definitely worth doing as they will increase your nightclub popularity now i will get into just exactly how much you guys will earn in your nightclub safe dependent on the popularity of your nightclub however it is worth mentioning that isn't the only way that you guys can increase your popularity in actual fact it's probably the longest way to go ahead and increase your popularity and what you guys actually want to do is do some of the brand new nightclub side missions that take part inside of your nightclub club most of these literally take between 30 seconds to two minutes to complete and i'll show you guys a few examples of them now one thing of course that was spoken about and was showed off in the trailer was being able to eject people that are too drunk from your nightclub all you guys simply have to do is do as i do on screen make your way up to the person press right on the d-pad and as easy as that you guys will now eject that player from your nightclub and in turn it will increase your popularity of your nightclub as well as giving you guys a very nice Yes. Ten thousand dollars on top so you guys will always see these little side missions pop up in your nightclub because you'll see them as like a little blue marker or your nightclub security is going to text you just to let you guys know what the situation is and as you guys can see on screen here's another example sometimes they will actually venture out of your nightclub into like your car park area but every single time you guys go ahead and eject one of these players from your nightclub it will be increasing your popularity like i said as well as giving you guys a little extra 
10k on top. So as you guys just saw, by simply ejecting that player, I was able to max out my popularity, just making me a very nice amount of money, which I will break down in just a second. So like I said, if you guys do see these players, sometimes they're troublemakers, sometimes they're just players who are way too drunk in your nightclub, always eject them as it is the most easiest and quickest way to go ahead and increase your popularity of your nightclub. Now, that isn't the only type of side mission or new side mission that we can do inside of the nightclub. Another one that we're gonna be seeing is to basically go ahead and help out a VIP who has had too much to drink. So as you guys can see on screen right here, there's a VIP client that sat in the VIP area, passed out, and all you guys simply have to go ahead and do is either deliver him to the hospital or go ahead and deliver him back to his house. So as you guys can see on screen, this time I done it right because I knew that I couldn't drive too quick. If you guys stay on the phone to Tony, then you won't realize that you can't drive the cars too quick or else the VIP will just jump out the car and you guys will fail the mission. So as you guys can see on screen, just simply go ahead. You will get given a vehicle to drive the VIP in. As soon as you guys drop him off to his home, then you guys will get greeted with a very nice $31,000 for doing so. So of course, the main thing from completing these side missions are just to increase the popularity of your nightclub. So as you guys can see on screen, this was the first time I ever done one of these VIP missions and I wasn't paying any attention to not spooking out the VIP and he ended up just jumping out the car rapid because Tony called me and I couldn't see the bar in the bottom right so as you guys can see on screen you don't want this to happen to you you end up losing the VIP and then your car will just burst out into flames so make sure you guys do take your time with these missions now the third and final way that you guys can go ahead and increase your popularity of your nightclub of course is by rebooking a DJ in your nightclub these only cost ten thousand dollars to re place and it's probably the most efficient if you guys have got money lying around just to make a consistent income with your nightclub so i'll quickly break down exactly how the popularity works just so you guys know exactly how much you're going to be earning depending on how popular your nightclub is so with maximum popularity so the bar full up you guys are going to be earning 100k for the first 96 minutes which of course is the equivalent of two in-game days now after this time period so after two in-game days pass your nightclub popularity will drop by half a bar so you'll be earning now 45k for the next 48 minutes and of course as time goes on and your popularity declines your income will also decline with it and as you guys can see on screen by this graph right here just so you guys can get a better idea this is how much you guys are going to be earning every 48 minutes depending on how full up your popularity bar is inside your nightclub so as you guys can see it will be dropping by 5k every single time and then eventually it will start dropping down by 10k and if your popularity is stuck at zero you guys are only going to be earning $1,500 every 48 minutes so a lot of you guys are probably going to be thinking what is actually the most efficient way to set up my nightclub popularity popularity to be making the most amount of money to collect from my safe every single time so i've already run through the different ways you guys can increase your popularity whether that's doing a side mission inside your nightclub doing a nightclub management mission or just simply rebooking a dj so all you guys want to do is do any three of these options to max out the popularity of your nightclub and then come back to your nightclub after 192 minutes so you guys will be able to take out 175k from your safe it isn't the max you can hold up to two 250k but for the time spent on the game and because the popularity of your nightclub would have decreased by this point you can go ahead and rinse and repeat the process i believe that's about every three hours or so so you guys don't have to spend too much time dedicated to the nightclub but at the same time you'll be earning the max amount of money for the time spent on the game of course you can build it up like i said to a max safe of 250k but you will be wasting extra time waiting around and it will be building up slowly rather than doing it every 192 minutes you guys will be earning 
175k passively you really have nothing to complain about and like i said once you guys have collected the money from your safe simply go ahead and do one of the side missions to increase your popularity or just book a dj for 10k and you guys will be at max popularity again so even if you spent 10k booking a dj instead of making 175k you're going to be earning 165k which is still very very good and practically doing nothing on the game besides waiting around now of course that isn't the only money maker we can do from our nightclub the other money maker we can get is the warehouse in our nightclub and of course you have got seven options of goods that we can source here so you can clearly see we've got five of the mc businesses so you've got the weed lockup the printing copy in the cash creation the pharmaceutical research as well as the south american imports so they are five of your mc businesses if you guys are an mc and you own those businesses you now can source these goods passively from your nightclub the other two the cargo and shipment is basically if you own a ceo crate or hangar warehouse so if you guys own one of those you should also have the option to source these goods and finally we have sporting goods which of course is the bunker so if you guys are like myself and you own all five of the MC businesses as well as a CEO crate warehouse and a bunker, you should be able to source all seven of these goods straight away very, very easily. Now, like I said, depending on what upgrades you guys have selected for your nightclub, do be sure to go ahead and check out my other money making guide to do with the nightclubs if you want to know much more details about the security and all of the different technician upgrades you can get. I won't spend too much time on this video and that because like I said, I've already made a video fully going into detail with that stuff but here on screen it just shows you guys exactly how much you're going to be earning depending on how many crates you have as well as how long they're going to take to actually source because you guys will notice they will be sourcing at different rates depending like i said what technicians that you guys have assigned because you can only assign five technicians but you can have seven goods available so once two of the goods fill up to max profit you simply want to change those technicians over to the two other goods that you guys haven't fully sourced just so you guys can get a full warehouse before you go ahead and complete the sale so here's a graph like i said on screen showing you guys exactly how much can be earned and of course a full nightclub warehouse value sits at just under 1.7 million at 1 million six hundred and ninety thousand dollars so as you guys can see on screen if you add all of the totals up from these that's exactly how much you guys are going to get so by far the most valuable are the sporting goods and the cargo shipments which individually will be earning you guys half a million dollars each if you fill them up to max capabilities so those two goods you always want to have selected by a technician until they reach max capabilities and then you guys want to make sure you have the cocaine otherwise known as the south american imports which will be earning you guys a total of 200k as well as the pharmaceutical research at 170k with the cash creation at 140k now once those five have completed like i said if you guys have got time to wait around go ahead and assign two more technicians to the organic produce and the printing and copying just so you guys can fill it up to the max before you go ahead and do your nightclub sale but like i said this is extra as you guys are only going to be earning 60k from the printing and copying and 120k from the organic produce but at the same time like i said they will be sourcing these goods for you afk and as you guys can see by the total minutes that it will take it's not going to take too long for you guys just to sit around in order to wait to earn a bonus 180k per nightclub sale now that does lead me on to my next point of another new thing that rockstar games have added brand new with these brand new nightclubs and that is the ability to pull up your mobile phone and call johan to request nightclub goods so as you guys can see on screen this is very very handy for you guys that don't like waiting around for these nightclub goods and you can also see your current stock value as well as the stock level of the percentage filled up in your warehouse when you call him so as you guys can see on screen i called johan and it tells me that my current stock value is at two hundred and thirteen thousand dollars and i've got it 16 percent full so instead of waiting around like i said and i showed you guys in the graph for hours simply give johan a call and now you guys can go ahead and simply request 
nightclub goods whenever you want so as you guys can see on screen of course this time i called him i was able to go ahead and source weapons which of course are to do with my bunker which is the most valuable source good in your nightclub and this is also a brand new mission by the way but as you guys can see on screen for this resupply mission all i had to do was make my way on top of this boat simply go ahead and collect this parcel but then for some dumb stupid reason in typical fashion whenever i want to record a video as you guys can see on screen my oppressor mark ii just started glitching out and i don't know i just couldn't get on it so it was stuck on this boat but not only was it stuck on the boat but the boat was now exploded so not only did i just die on the boat the enemies also exploded the goddamn tugboat so i had to jump in the water dive on the water retrieve this goddamn parcel all just to make a quick video for you guys in the meantime i couldn't get on my oppressor mark ii because that was also destroyed so as you guys can see on screen i just had a really stressful time right here just kept getting killed by these npcs that were spawning like i've never seen before i'm not gonna lie you have to really really be on it if you guys don't have a weaponized vehicle or you come into one of these missions unprepared like myself so the best thing to do like i said is just grab the parcel jump in one of these goddamn low riders and just get the hell out of there just so you guys stop getting spawn killed by these npcs probably the most vicious npcs that i've seen in gta 5 online are on these nightclub resupply missions boys i'm not gonna lie look at them just chasing me down not wanting to give up so literally i kid you not after five minutes ten minutes battling with these goddamn npcs i was finally able to call out a helicopter and go ahead and deliver the weapons to my nightclub and of course rockstar games will also give you guys a nice cash bonus for delivering the weapons as you guys can see in the top right $36,000 however the most important thing is we've increased our weapons or our nightclub warehouse to go ahead and make that big boy sale right at the end which like I said will earn you guys just under 1.7 million dollars every single time however that is going to do it for me guys like i said a very very in-depth video to do with all of the changes to do with the brand new nightclub hopefully you guys do appreciate me putting this video together and i will also put together new money making guides to do with the bunker as well as the warehouses dropping in the coming days so make sure you guys do turn notifications on so you do keep up to date every time i post a brand new video However, like I said, that is going to do it for me, guys. As always, do be sure to show support and return the favor with a like down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video.